Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome out. I'm so excited. DJology. That's right, the science of DJing. My name is Scott, your host, DV DJ King, holding it down. What? What? Some people were asking me about video DJing, and I was like, what? And they were like, what? And I was like, word. And they were like, word. All right, so before I begin, I just want to say there's a lot of ways to cook an egg, guys. All right, just because I show you this doesn't mean it's like the end all be all, okay? So some people were asking me about video Serato, and I was like, no, I, I actually got rid of that uh, a year in, into it. I mean, I think you need to download it just so Serato can read MP4s, or maybe it's not like that anymore. It was, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I use Mix Emergency, and like I was saying before, uh, I've seen some people do amazing, amazing, amazing things with Virtual DJ, uh, Paul G., Sod, if you don't you guys don't know who that is, he's amazing. And also Larry D, uh, I love his work. I've actually asked him to like uh, make a little screen uh, capture and show me how he does his things as well. Um, and once again, I like to pay homage uh, to. There's so many. There's so many. Um, I just love this whole this whole entire thing. Um, let me just name off a few people. Rooney G, Second Nature, Crush, G-Force, Evan Clark. If you guys don't know who that is, look that dude up. Um, Dini, of course, Biggie. Also, we got a big shout out going to Joshua Carl, Eloy, and let's not forget DJ Icon. They've done a lot for the video DJ community. And uh, Mr. E and the Godfather to me, uh, Marks, for putting me on Kroku Clan to make remixed uh, video edits when my career was basically in shambles and it brought me up. Um, I actually got to tour, I uh, did a show, I won't say tour, but I, <laughs> I actually got to do a show in China which was like my highlight. I didn't even realize something like that was even possible um, in Marx. So I'll never, never forget it. I got the shirt, I got the hat. Wait, a minute. is it over here? Yeah, it's over here. Yeah, man. What? <laughs> All right, so. Let's get into it. Now you're probably wondering what is going on with the screen and why is his mouse so big? Ah, going up my nose right there. Okay, what you're watching right now, this is my mix emergency output. So if I had this hooked to another screen, I would double click on this image right here and it would go full screen. Um, of course, if you had that onto another screen, but they, uh, you see this right here? It's four arrows pointing up to the corners. Bam, 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 like uh, Orange Justice. All right, so you would hit that if you couldn't see your external screen. You know how like you're looking this way, uh, screens are looking this way to the club, right? Looking this way, see my hands, um, and you can't see it. So instead of like having to like take your mouse and find, oh man, help me, you're having your buddy going, yeah, bring the mouse down a little bit and then double click on it. No, you just hit this button and bam, it would go full screen. I would do that right now, but you know, we're learning right now. Okay. Uh, another thing, uh, I don't know, I'll just compare a little bit of uh, Video Serato to Mix Emergency. Another thing it doesn't have the option to do is use your FaceTime cam like it is right now. Um, and that's just right here. You see my big mouse? Yeah, if I click that off, on, 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 and it's using it as an input. Dope, right? Very exciting. But the real reason that I had to get rid of Video Serato was for this right here. Okay, so you guys see how the top is scrolling, www.djology.com. Um, that is the real reason that I had to get rid of uh, Serato Video. Because, um, so if you look over here um, to the left, that's my left deck. If you look over here to the right, that's my right deck. Uh, you would have to type um, whatever you were going to say on one side. And, and then you would have to type whatever you're gonna say on the other side. And with Mix Emergency, um, it just puts it over the master deck, which is in the middle. And Video Serato just doesn't do that. So let's say um, you're at a club and you made last call and you just had a default set for it to say last call. Instead of having to put it in this deck, then the other deck, and then this deck, the other deck, no, it doesn't matter. You, you put it up there and forget about it. Or you could be like, oh, it's Jen's birthday. And then you can go over here, you see where my mouse is. Um, you just type in happy birthday, Jen. And then, you know, for you guys that don't like to talk on the microphone, and be like, hey, look, I did it. Bam, it's up there on the screen. Take a picture. <laughs> you see, you can even take that scrolling away and leave their name right on it. Bam, happy birthday, Jen. 
And then they could point and, you know, put it on Instagram and then be YouTube famous. I don't know. Viral. Go viral. Okay, so now that we covered the text, let's cover uh, this image right here, the DJ Ology logo. You're probably wondering why that's there because I'm advertising, fool. Um, no, uh, it has to do with this right here. You see all these squares right here? They're banks. They are banks. So what I did was I took this one, which was my logo, and I put it up on the left deck and then bam, it's right there. And that I could do if I was playing audio. Like let's say the new song comes out, a new hot remix or mashup, and there isn't a video to it yet, and you're like, you can just set this on the screen, you know, for whatever songs you're mixing. Or maybe you've got a, uh, a guest guy coming in, and he's taking over the decks for a little bit, and he's not a video DJ. You could just leave this up on the screen, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. You would just deactivate your uh, crossfader right here, and then bam, it wouldn't leave. It would just stay there, which is great. Um, so that's that and then of course you have your you know your other things that are in your bank and you put whatever you want in those banks um, there's one thing I wanted to show you that I forgot let me see um, one thing that's really cool okay so let me just go back to this real quick you hit this little button and then BAM it brings it up to the top right you see how that it brings it full screen and that's and then the, these controls will never leave the top so let's say I wanted to take this DJ logo which is different and then put that right there okay I also take it and put it right there because I want to pull back to it later but oh no it doesn't have a picture like the rest of them like I don't remember what I put there um oh let me take that I put it up there oh man it didn't give me a picture so that don't worry bam you take a picture and then bam it remembers it look at that look at that that's just so friendly um okay so enough about that um and if you wanted to pull the, those options up, you pull them up there. I'm, I'm just going through these real quick. These things are like amazing. So once again, there's the camera, right? Um, we'll get, and then of course we got the DJ. Well, you can't see. It's another thing. Oh man, I lost my DJology, my DJology uh, words because they're white. No problem. I want them to be red. Now you can see them. Perfect. And if you wanted to change the font, if you wanted to change the scale, if you wanted it to go left to right, if you wanted to go up and down, let's, yeah, so options. Yeah, I got options. Well, I'm going to take that off right now. I'm going to go back to that. Um, okay, so you see that, and that's just the PNG. Now, for those of you that don't know what a PNG is, it's a file that has no background. We only see black because nobody put any background there. Um, you have to research more on PNGs if you don't quite understand what I'm saying. Um, next, we'll take that. Okay, so let's say we uh, take some random video, which is right here. We're gonna put that right there, little pit bull. Move it around a little bit, sweet. All right, so we got the pit bull right there. And once again, we're moving down, but I want my logo up on the screen the whole time. Oh look, there it is. Once again, I took the same PNG that was over here and I put it into the image part of Mix Emergency. Now, again, you have all the same options like opacity, right? You want it to be darker or lighter, right? Scale, you want it to be bigger, right? Or, you know, maybe I want it in the center. Or bring it up and down. And oh look. And then, of course, that stays up there the whole time as you're mixing from video to video. You know, if you want to just advertise who you are. So, let me take this on the you can opacity, right? Scale, bring it down, and then, there we go. I'll bring it back over there, bring it down to the bottom. All right. So, that pretty much just covers this one in particular thing. Now, there's a lot more that it could do. You can even MIDI affect it. Um, now we're going to go up to these windows right here. Okay, so each channel has all of these different options that you can do. In fact, you could probably get lost in all the options in the channel. But, you know, if I wanted it just to be a cube, well, since it's a cube, I want it to be my logo. Check it out. Bam. It's cube. And sweet. There it is. There's my logo. It's going to look down. Oh, maybe I want my DJology logo to be a cube. Sweet. 
doesn't work out. So you gotta play around with it a little bit. Maybe you gotta go back into Photoshop and make that a square image so it'll look cool. So this one's a square. And it, yeah, square, cute. Makes more sense, right? That looks kind of dope. And then, okay, so once again, you got all these different things you can do. I honestly, you'd have to go in there and play around with it, see which ones you like. And you see the little beat grid right here. You can get it to jump to the beat and it matches the, the beat grid if you have your tracks lined out. Something to cover in a more advanced video. Um, okay, so now that we've covered this side, let's go ahead and cover the center right here. I'll go ahead and get that spinning off so you're not like, um, days infused on it. Okay, so check that out. You can make the video uh, darker, lighter, opacity, and it's linked to the crossfader. So if I'm over here on my crossfader, it goes in and out. I can also deactivate that, and there you go. Let me show you what that looks like here with the square, right? Sweet, look at that. And then, um, that's this button right here. You see, that makes it connect to my crossfader. See, if I click on that, bam, 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 bam. Um, these are for your up and down faders, which if you can hear that, I'm going up and down with the left side fader. And then you can also automate it, and that's the area right there. See, if you, for some reason, couldn't get your crossfader to recognize. Um, again, you have all these different options of what to do for, tr for transitions from video to video. Oh, it stays versus. Oh, it just stays on the other side. Okay. I wouldn't want that. Uh, flips. What else we got? Stroll BE. What is that? Ooh, look at that. Again. You've got options. Once again, mix emergency. What is this? Oh, oh, oh. You can have two. That'd be kind of dope. One guy cutting and scratching on one side, and the other guy, you know, drum out beats. That'd be dope. All right, what's this one? Oh, oh, oh. What time is it? It's like a clock. Get it? What time is it? What time is it? All right, so again, you get it. You got options. Play around with them. Um, and then, of course, this side is just the same as this side. Uh, what would I have it on? Fall back, fall back, stay, hold, grid two. What is grid two? Here we go, sweet. Um, so that pretty much covers mix emergency. Um, covers the the FaceTime uh, app, like you covers the FaceTime cam. So there you go. Um, covers the logo you can have. Give you a couple different options of what to do with it. Once again, the possibilities are endless. Um, and of course, you need music video edits. You can always go to VJ Pro. That's the spot I, I would recommend. Or Crooked Clan, get some King video edits. What? Um, once again, um, like and subscribe, share. Like I said before, I might uh, cut this video up into two because there's way more to go over than this. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna take this screen off right now. What you're seeing right now is Mix Emergency, um, left, right, right, left, right, and main output, which is this main output right here. And if I take that away, and we can open up a whole nother world by using Arena. So if you guys are interested in this, um, let me know. Uh, and we can show you how to how to go over that, or at least introduce you to it. Um, I even have my GoPro set up, so if you guys can see that, this is what the what I got going on in the studio right now, it's just to show you how it works. And, and then of course I got the Akai uh, 40 MK2 uh, to control what I got going on in Resume. Once again, you guys are amazing like subscribe share um let me know what you're thinking um i really hope this helped i had a bunch of people ask me to go over this um it's really just a quick overview you can spend forever on it um but yeah let me know i'm gonna go ahead and edit this up right now and see if i got enough speed <laughs> to do uh, a little bit more resolution all right guys be good